faith, which is the understanding of which, I mean, I believe Abraham is a Muslim, means someone who submitted to God. Because the Torah and Gospel didn't came before Abraham. It was after the Abraham. Right. Yeah, and therefore, Abraham was believer in one true God and worship God alone. So by that definition, he he fit on a Muslim rather than any other religion. Now, if Abraham was communicated by God as a messenger and tell him that submit God alone, and that is the way, then any other religion or any other concept comes afterwards, it's not from God. But, but uh, which religion came first? Islam. Islam? Hmm. Islam came before the uh, yeah. Christian. Yeah. You were there? When did uh, Islam start? Islam came uh, start with Adam. Ad Adam is a Muslim. Means someone who submitted oh. to God. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't know that. I'm okay. Sorry. Yeah, so what we believe that God created human being. But, but your, your religion came, came out of Quran. No, 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 no. Quran is the last, last book. What we believe, we believe, we believe Jesus Christ received Injil. Moses received Torah. But don't get confused with the New Testament with Injil. Because Mark, Matthew, Luke and John, these are the later edition. So which, what are your first books? The first book is Torah. Torah which came to Moses. But before Torah, yeah, but before Moses, there are other books came to the messenger. So like Noah received uh, books before. Yeah, but the Quran is written like 500 to 400 of Christ, right? Yeah, so it, it doesn't matter because why, uh, the reason why, the reason why, no, if Abraham was a Muslim, that Jesus can't be a Christian. Do you see? follow my logic? Because the reason why Quran has to come so that it can clarify the error people are doing. Like for example, if the book has been corrupted, God is watching that God has the book has been corrupted by people. So what is fair? God send books to clarify the point or God leave you in confusion? But do you know who has written the Quran? So in, if you apply your logic, then yeah. Judaism came before Christianity. That means Judaism is correct. Do you see Excuse this? Excuse me? What is Judaism it? come before Christianity. If your logic, if you say Christianity came before Islam, therefore Christianity is correct. I would say, okay, if you apply your logic, then Judaism come before Christianity, therefore Judaism is correct. Judaism means Jewish religion. Jewish. Yeah. Yeah, but a Jewish is the Old Testament for us as Christians. Hmm. But you don't follow Old Testament, do you? you yeah. Yeah. You follow the Old Testament and then. That, hey, that's that's where Jesus come. It's like <laughs> many of like uh, prophets were like uh, writing of the Savior, Messiah, you know, in the Old Testament. So according to uh, book, book of Deuteronomy, it would turn me. What, all what, the what, out, out sorry, of the covering me. Sorry, you know the first commandment yeah. in, in Old Testament. What is the first commandment? Uh, you know, no, no, no. Yeah, you should only have one. There we go. Deuteronomy 6 4. Right? Now, all of the Jewish people, I'm saying all of them, understood there was only one God, not three in one. Okay? Yeah, it's still one God. It's one God in three. It doesn't say that. There is no. You believe that. You believe that, yeah, yeah. but that's that's your belief. Yeah. It actually, by believing the New Testament, doesn't say these three are one, one God. This is the church understanding. This is the council understanding, not the Bible, not the Jesus. Clear verses. If you look at the clear verses, Jesus clearly Holy, said the only. Holy Spirit is not a God. But to... So are you saying Holy Spirit not a God? No. Then you are not a Trinitarian Christian. What is that? Trinitarian. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you don't. So so are you a Unitarian Christian or? Sorry. Are you a Unitarian Christian? I, I don't. I think he's got confused. Yeah. I, I believe that Jesus was hundred percent human and hundred percent God, and I believe in the Holy Spirit, and I believe in God. But
but I don't believe like Holy Spirit is a God. Okay, so you you are not a, a Trinitarian Christian, so you do, so you, you are some, uh, different from them. I can have a different discussion with you. But are you sorry? Is Islam coming out of the Old Testament? No, what we say, what we say, there are teaching in the Old Testament. We agree with because our Quran is the Muhammad means is an authority over other books. When Bible said there is only one God, we say agreed because this is the understanding Prophet sent another messenger to confirm. Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not bring new message. Let me make it very clear. He, he tells us the God he worship is the God of Noah, God of Adam, God of uh, uh, all of the prophets. He, he asked us to worship God of all prophets. Now, if we go back and look at Jesus Christ God, who is the Jesus Christ God, according to your understanding? He's the Messiah. He's God's son. Okay. When he say Messiah, what is Messiah? Do you know what is the Messiah meaning? Yeah, it's a savior. Savior. Do you know other Messiah also in the New Testament? Excuse me? There are also Messiah in, in the New Testament. Do you know? The Messiah in the, uh, there are other Messiahs as well. Who? Samuel. You can look at Samuel. Chapter, if you read it, Samuel chapter 1, 15. Samuel chapter 1, 15. Yeah, you, you can. In the Bible? Yes. The New Testament? Yes, New Testament. There are many messiahs. Many messiahs. There are many messiahs. By the way, you know, messiah means anointed one. It's no Samuel. 1 Samuel 15, 3. Is it Old Testament or New Testament? Okay, okay, all right. No, it's. 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. So it's talk about. No, so the Bible. So you took he's a messiah as well. You mentioned. I can I can show you. If I show you, would, would you you become Muslim? He chose the first king, Samuel. He's saying that are other messiahs as well. What did you say? First Samuel, fifteen. Fifteen verse. Just read from one. Uh, it's, it's no region. It's no region. Samuel Saul. Okay, so let me find. Samuel said to Saul. Uh, um, yes, yeah, Saul is the first king. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 talking about the kings in. Uh, but it talks about clearly Messiah. Is there? No. So it's not Messiah. I'll, I'll, let me find it for you. Where is Israel? Is there? No, Where are they coming? Where are they coming over? Samuel was the first, the first king of It's the kings of uh, Israel, not the Messiah. Samuel was the first. Okay, look. Samuel said to Saul, I am the one Lord sent to anoint you king over his people. First yeah. line. What yeah. is anoint? Yeah, the first. The, 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 there we look, go. Look, That's proof my point. Look, That's proof my point. Sent, sent to anoint you, the king over his people, right. Israel. Yeah. He's the king of the land, Israel, on yeah. the earth. So, so yeah. he's talking about who? Saul. Yeah. And Sam, Samuel. Samuel. And he's talking about him. So he's not Jesus here. No, no, no. Exactly. That's why I said there are other messiahs. So messiah, messiah does not uh, messiah doesn't mean messiah means anointed one. Someone touch it, heal it. That's what but, it but means. No, go look at the meaning. Messiah. Messiah. Excuse me. Messiah. So he was sent from God. We believe that uh, God yeah. uses us people to salvate people to uh, to. Uh, but but do you now do you take your point back? There are other messiahs in Bible. No, no. no I've showed you. No, it, he's not a messiah. No, he I said anoint. What is anoint mean? Anointed. We, we don't no no no. That. Here in the English language is clearly saying anoint. Yeah. What does the anoint mean? Chosen. No, Messiah. Read. Anointed. Messiah means anointed anointed one. Okay. Same I'll show you English language. Okay. Salvation. Look, anointed one. Wait, wait, wait. Look, um, Messiah, Muh see you in Judaism and Christian, the promised one, anointed one, or Christ the Savior. Okay, now. Anointed one also applied to Samuel. So is Samuel savior? 
Samuel is not, a, isn't it? He's not a Messiah. I'm saying anointed one has been titled to Samuel. Yeah, but you, you know from the Old Testament, there is only one that was chosen. And Saul know that. No, Solomon. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the simple word Messiah here. Yeah. Yeah. What does Messiah mean? Anointed one. But, but the word. That applies to Samuel the word as well. Messiah is not used there. Where? In the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. About, about Saul. It's not used. What does that word used here then? Anoint is not the same Mo as Messiah. What is Masaha, Masih, what does it mean? Do you know? No salvation. Anointed one. Tasked. Do you know what salvation is? Go look at Hebrew, Hebrew dictionary. Do you know what salvation is? Salvation, of course. Uh, why yeah. not? Salvation is the way. And the, if you follow prophet's way, then that is the salvation. No one is dying for your salvation. Yeah. You have to... You you will have your own accountability. No one is dying for your sin. Nobody is taking your sin. When we're talking about savior, you know what savior means? Savior doesn't mean that I am dying for your sin. Savior means if you follow my message, you will be saved on the day of judgment. That's all it is. But, but it's, it's it's a completely different thing because no, I, I but do, do you see? I've shown you you. Yeah, that, I, I see your point. No, I'm I'm showing from your Bible, not I'm making the point. I'm showing from you of the Bible, the Messiah was given other prophets as well. So I cannot use Messiah as a condition. Okay, because he's Messiah, then he's God, part of God. It's, using. it's, it's a completely different thing. Because it's, no, it's the same thing. No, it's, they're talking about uh, a king of the land, on the earth. Mm -hmm. like, uh, David was a king, according yeah. to the Bible. So, After Saul, right? so, so you see, but, but the David was a king too. But he's Messiah. That's no, two complete different things. No, it's, but it's just God sending Saul to look, be a king. Look, all those times, look, look, all this time, Son of God, Messiah, these have been attributed to other prophets and messengers. Excuse me, what did you say? There are, you know, Son of God, mm -hmm. Messiah was given to other prophets and messengers in the Bible. He, did, he didn't call anyone Messiah other than Jesus. No, I just showed you one. But I just showed you one. No, we cannot pick and choose, okay. The Messiah in Old Testament should not be applied in New Testament. We should understand it from the Hebrew language. Because you don't have Aramaic original Bible. Then you have to rely on the Greek manuscripts, right? But they're not saying the Messiah. No, but it's clearly saying anointed one. What is anointed one? Messiah. Salvation. No. I think trying to understand the point. The meaning so, word uh, of Messiah uh, is anointed one. Uh, you have shown you in Google. I've shown you. Okay, so I see your point. Absolutely, I see your point. Yeah, but but through the whole Old Testament. Look, but, my brother, we, we don't, don't get me wrong. I respect your belief, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm talking about if you apply this standard, yeah. then you cannot make it unique for Jesus Christ. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so therefore, on that category, you cannot say he's God. If you say I believe in it, you can believe anything. It's, it's, you have the right for your, yeah, whatever, yeah. you are entitled for your belief. What I'm talking about, that clearly, if you look at the clear verses, go home and have a look at the clear verses. Clearly, Jesus Christ clearly attributing there is someone else God, not him. Clear verses. But, but All the ambiguous verses, you will have the interpretation. But then again, interpretation has been taken from Unitarian Christian, Trinitarian, and Binitarian as well. There are another group called Binitarian Christian. So, there are different types of interpretation on the ambiguous verses. But the clear verses are clear. When the first and foremost things God always make it clear, there is no other God apart from the God of the heaven, which God in the heaven. We believe which is the Rabb in Islam. And Islamic belief is very simple. Let me share with you. So he said, Bismillah rahman rahim Qul huwa Allah ahad. Say, Allah is one. Allahu samad. He is eternal refuge. Self-sufficient. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets nor begotten. Means he doesn't have a father, neither he has a son. Wa lam yakullahu kufwan ahad. There is nothing or no one comparable to God. Very simple. Very easy. Like You can connect with the God. Very simple. Okay, can, okay, can yeah. I ask you a question? Uh, I saw a sign when I came in. 
that says uh, Jesus was a Muslim. Do you believe that? Yeah, that's what that's huh? what we believe. Yeah, Jesus is a Muslim. Jesus is a Muslim. Hmm. How? It means he submitted to God. But, he, but do, you, do you believe in the Old Testament? Like I said, there are particular things we believe in Old Testament. So, so we don't take the full books because we don't believe these actually. These are the book revealed to you know Old Testament, New Testament. Yeah. These people, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John, when they wrote it, did they see Jesus and Jesus telling them write this, write this, or they wrote it later on after hearing pe what people has to say? But, but we 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 don't need do, to talk do you, about exactly. What, we don't what, need to talk about the New Testament. It's in the Old Testament now. Yeah. Now I'm, 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 no, it, it's Testament. important for New Testament to understand, right? If you don't understand the New Testament, then you cannot go back to the Old Testament, right? Because anyway, Jewish people don't believe in triune concept of God anyway. So you will have a significant difference of interpreting Old Testament. Okay, with all now, due respect, we're yeah. not talking about Christianity now. We're talking about Islam. No, I'm talking about Christianity. Yeah, we, but I, I was asking yeah, you yeah. Okay. So, so we yeah. believe God sent messengers and prophets to so, tell... So what in the Old Testament are you believing in? You so, believe? yeah, Old Testament, what we believe, there are particular passages like, for example, when say first and uh, the, uh, the main commandment, our Lord God is only one, Deuteronomy 6.4. That's, that's the only thing. No, no, there are other things as well in because, Old Testament. Because in the Old Testament, Jesus said, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, not Jesus. In the Old Testament. Jesus is not Old Testament. <laughs> You're mixing uh, up. In the Old Testament, they were saying, uh, they were saying a Messiah was coming. In the New Testament, Jesus was saying he's Jewish. Yeah, Jesus is a Jewish, Jewish family lineage, yes. Yeah, but, but, but how is he Muslim? When he says okay. he sees himself that he's Jewish. Okay. Jewish. What did he? How did he pray? Did he pray? Jesus Christ prayed? Did Jesus pray? To God. Okay. So when Jesus prayed to God, yeah. did he pray to himself or pray to God? No, he prayed to God. That's it. So as a Muslim, we pray to God, not to Jesus. That's the fundamental difference. Do you not see that? Yeah, well, I, I, exactly. I, I, I can pray so, to Jesus and I can pray to God, uh, God. I can say Jesus, I can say God. Right. So Jesus is not God because Jesus clarified on John 17, 3 that the only true God is Father. So when he used only true God. Excuse me, is, is that in the Old Testament? No, in New Testament. Okay. Where? where in John 17, 3. Okay. Let me you show you. The only true God is Father. He didn't say only true God is God. Yeah. So he made it simple and clear and makes a clear exception who the true God is. He also is said that he sent his, he was sent by God. Yeah, so if someone sent someone, doesn't necessarily mean God. I cannot send myself, I can send someone. Yeah, but, but God can do magnificent things. Even but us humans right, people. God can do anything. Yeah? But do you think God can do the things that doesn't suit him? I mean, can God lie? No. Why not? Because he's God, he's perfect. Exactly. Yeah. So it doesn't suit him. So there are things that doesn't suit God. Doesn't go with the majesty. Therefore, we don't say God is perfect and suddenly he becomes imperfect and coming to the realm of imperfect and losing his attribute of all perfectness. Do you not see that? I didn't no. When Jesus came to this earth, was he all perfect? When Jesus came? Yeah. Jesus was uh, okay. sin free. Okay. I said all perfect. Did he know everything? Jesus. When this he came to the earth, did he? Yeah. Okay. According to your Bible, he doesn't know everything. Jesus was uh, uh, he didn't have sin. He I didn't. Him. I said, did he know everything? Yeah, he did. When he go to the fig tree, to do you the, know? Do you know there is a passage that he goes to the fig tree and he didn't know the season of the fig tree. I yeah. don't understand. Yeah. Sorry. So Jesus went to a fig tree. What is a fig tree? Fig tree. Do you know fig oh, yeah. fruit? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. fig okay. fruit. So he went there yeah. and he realized it's not the season. And then he cursed that may no one eat from that tree. So when he as a God would know that what tree would bear. God would not be like ignorant. Do you see my point? When he was asked about hour, he said, No one knows. Who knows the hour? Father. So therefore, God is not all perfect. So that's that's the reputation I'm giving to you. You see. So it's clear all the attributes. Jesus is clearly signifying he is he doesn't have the all perfect attributes as people are giving it to him. He said, "My God and your God." So Jesus has a God. He said, "My God." Yeah. He said, he has, yeah. So yeah. God. Do you think God have a God? 
Yeah, because he's he's talking. He sent himself as a person to just uh, to salvation to to save us people. No, but that's your belief. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. saying you cannot because that goes against the New Testament because he was not knowledgeable. He was ignorant about our. He doesn't know the fig tree. And he also said, "My God is the only God who is the Father." Yeah, but because and God because of Abraham. He, say, uh, he called God the Father. He does that, but he also. Uh, Okay, I, I lost my point. No, no, anyway. But it was nice talking to you. What I was going to say to you, my brother. Yeah. I Because of, uh, I, I spoke to you, and I would, I would like to relate to you the message once again. I have a Quran for you as a gift. Yeah? Let me show you something. Yeah? This is the verse Jesus Christ will be asked on the Day of Judgment. Yeah? In the Quran, Allah saying. And beware of the day when Allah will say, Oh Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, take me and my mother as deities beside Allah? Mm -hmm. He will say, exalted are you. It was not for me to say that to which I have no right. If I had said it, you would have known it. You know what is within myself and I do not know what is within yourself. Indeed, it is you who are the knower of the unseen. So Jesus Christ clearly, those people who followed him, he will renounce them. So, I would like to present you a copy of the Quran. And there are accounts of Jesus Christ in chapter 3, chapter 19, and in the various other places. Right. You will get to know the true message of Jesus Christ, God revealed, so that we all know the message of him. But, but what, you, what, what do you think of Muhammad? Yeah. What, what do you think of him? He's a, he's a messenger of God. He's a messenger of God. But how, how did he become a messenger of God? Because God chosen that there should be another messenger needed because when and when did that happen uh, in the cave no no in cave cave the uh, the message came yes yeah but he was uh, in seclusion he was in seclusion just like others other prophets and messenger they have seclusion they remember god right yeah. and the whole community witness just like other communities just like when jesus christ within with his disciple he has also his companion, who we call a Sahaba, they have witnessed him. Do you know about... Um, but but, but uh, Muhammad was alone in the cave when he received the message. Yeah, all of the prophets, when they receive, they are all alone. So it's not particularly Muhammad. No human being have these rights to directly communicate. God doesn't directly communicate to you, me. He communicates with prophets and messengers. So when... So, so God doesn't communicate with me or you? No, he doesn't communicate with Wahi. There are inspirations that God given us. Like, for example, God given us instilled with our mind, truth, false, you know. There so, are, so you don't believe that God can talk to us? You know, God can, God can talk to us in a, in a form like through what has been revealed, already revealed to the prophet. All right, so you, you don't believe that he can talk to us through uh, dreams? How do you know that uh, it's from, from, from God? It could be I, from I Satan. Experienced it, exactly. But, but, so but so I, this is very subjective. This is very subjective. That's why God chose a best way to communicate his message by sending prophets and messengers, establishing them on the earth by aiding them with miracles so that everyone can appreciate and acknowledge and accept them as a messenger of God. But, but Moses did talk to, to, to God. Yeah, it's mentioned in the Quran. Moses, yeah, yeah Moses. But, but what's different between Moses and, and us? But do you, where are you present when Moses spoke to God? Uh, what are the story of the Moses? Through the, through the burning bush. I'm saying, where are you present at that time? If I was presented? No, no, no. No, exactly. So you heard, you yeah. believe that story. It's the yeah. same way, Prophet Muhammad, also from the tradition, we know I wasn't there, you wasn't there. So we, what we take, we take the source of knowledge, the history, religious scripture, these are evidence for these miracles. Now for me and you to judge what is right and wrong is based on evaluating the Prophet Muhammad, whether he's a credible source. Was he a liar? Was he speaking the truth or was he a deluded person, right? Now, before he became a prophet, his prophet started in the age of 40. But before that, he was given title called Al-Amin, an As-Sadiq, the trustworthy and truthful. The community given him those titles because he's truthful, he's trustworthy. And he was not someone who's deluded. 
and then he brings the revelation and he showed miracles. He showed miracles. And the, uh, uh, the greatest miracle is the Quran. Do you know what is the Quran? Why Quran is miracle? The Quran is miracle because God said, he, this Quran in Arabic language, Allah said, this is a book from Allah revealed to the Muhammad Sallallahu which is Prophet Muhammad through Angel Gabriel. And he memorized it and God posed challenge, many challenges in the Quran. One of the challenge that produce a chapter like it means Quran has certain stylistics, certain genres. And Allah is challenging people to make something like it. And this is a, a challenge you can look into, look it up. There is a book uh, written by, um, uh, I think a professor in Georgetown University called Raymond Farin. You can look it up. So he wrote a book called Quranic Structure and the features of Quran's uniqueness. So we believe literal verbatim word of God means there is no human interpretation, human understanding, literally verbatim word of God. And that's why God's saying it's not about the message itself, it's about how the delivery is godly as well. Means no human being able to produce or imitate Quran. And that is one of the challenges has been since 1400 years on. And it's an objective challenge for us because we are the people of intellect in this time. We have our good mind, we, we, we read a lot. And Allah is presenting a, a challenge that can suit our time. Now you can have a look what Quran challenges and he is asking to produce something like it. Yeah. So these are the objective challenge. But, but you were th talking about uh, what we, we believe. Is, uh, is uh, Muhammad truthful? You were no, about that. I'm, I'm talking about whenever but we established any standard. You did it what, earlier. Yeah, what we say. So, so the truth, uh, no, the evidence of Jesus, do you, do you believe that Jesus uh, was living? On the earth, he was alive. Yeah, he was alive. He wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't died or crucified. No. All right. So that. So okay. You believe that he wasn't crucified? No. He was Allah taking him alive. He was taken alive. Yes. So it's 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 many evidence that Jesus actually did die. No. You yes, can you can no. You can look it up. There is a group called Basilides. It's many. It's many. It's many, it's many sources. Look, the way Christian thinks, this is a. Uh, absolute. No, it's not like that. You can look it up in group. If you Google it up, there is a group called Basilides. They didn't believe Jesus was crucified. Jesus was replaced by someone. They believe that. And they are the closest where the event taken place. So you can look it up. I'm not yeah, saying. I, I, I That's why I'm saying. No, you can. I'm, I'm producing evidence. In order to reject something, you have to know first, what are you rejecting? Yeah, yeah, but, but, exactly. But it's, it's, it's many more sources saying that Jesus was crucified no, and did what, die on the earth. Look, what we are talking about, when the event was taking place, we are not denying the event was taking place. What Quran is saying, they certainly killed him, not, not crucified him. Bal Allah taking him alive. When? When did he do that? On, on the cross. On it was the a, cross? Yeah, it was a, he, wasn't, he wasn't crucified. He was crucified and then just No, but up. what evidence do you have? No, no, but I'm asking you, when did, when did Jesus go to, to, to your Allah? So Allah said he taken him alive, that's it. So in front of everyone, Jesus was just rising up? Yeah, uh, he's taken him alive, yes. On, on the cross or when? Look here. No, I, I want you no, to No, 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 look, look here. But I, I don't want to read it. No, you why, why not? Me. You tell me. Why not? Then you can read it and then you tell me. Because I, I don't want to write oh, it. I don't okay, so basically, Allah said, Neither they killed him, nor they crucified him. Okay, so, so it's as if, as if, as if it appeared to you, or appeared to them, he was crucified. But he wasn't crucified. Look, we believe Muhammad, peace be upon him. But just brings ask, with, answer me this question. What? When did it happen? When did Allah take him up? When you say, do we, are you referring the age? Or the time? The time. The yeah, age. it doesn't mention there. It doesn't mention? It doesn't mention, no. So in a magical time, Jesus was just rising. No. And it, nobody just... But do you have the time? Huh? Do you have the time when it's happening? I, I, I don't remember how Exactly. So you don't but, apply... But, but it stands. No. It stands in exactly. Yeah. That's why you don't want to apply any standard that doesn't apply to you. You have to apply a standard that suits you. Yeah, but, but I know it was said what age he died. Yeah, so... so I know that's the truth. No, we, we have also but, information. But, but, we have also information when this happened. Around five to six hundred years. 
in between Jesus Christ and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So in between five so and these, six and Look, this is a very silly years. argument. This is a very silly argument. You took me about unnecessary, unnecessary. Look, this I, I, it doesn't I, matter. The whole we're talking about of what? Course it matters. No, why? 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 If I'm going to believe in uh, in Jesus, uh, but you life. don't even know that when exactly that happened. No, I don't know right now, but it stands in the Bible. No, I'm saying that also mentioned in the Quran that. Yeah, show me. No, Quran mentioned that it didn't happen. Means the event happened, but the outcome of the event didn't happen. The so, way you believe, like I said, look, yeah. go Basilides. That is a group. Now, even if you don't want to take Islamic account, I'm talking about there are group who doesn't believe in Islam. They also believe that Jesus Christ wasn't crucified. There is a group called Basilides. Okay, okay. He wasn't crucified, but he did die. No, he wasn't. He was the same. The crucifixion and die both didn't happen. But that's what I said. Look it up. Called group called Basilides. Yeah, are they Islamic? No, they are not Islamic. That's what I'm saying. If but you don't want to take from Islamic sources, no? I am saying God confirmed through messenger, yeah. which evident that he is true messenger of God, then you should take messenger's account rather than eyewitness and ear witness which you have no yeah I, I, exactly I, I, you know that exactly i agree i agree exactly so in that essence my brother i humble my humble request to be look it up yeah. look it up basilides and see what they say but, but i think it's just funny that you say that no 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 i am let, not let me talk please let me yeah. talk yeah. Let me. and jesus is just disappearing and nobody's know when he was a big person. For no, Islam. I'm saying if you Jesus if you was, know he if was a big person for Islam. He is a messenger of God. Yes. Yeah. So I, I think it's weird that a, a, a messenger of God. I think it's a weird way born. of understanding of yours because you bring something you don't have a backup. I have. What is backup? Find no. out. Find out from okay. me. Uh, can I go and uh, ask my question? Uh, no, no. You, you, you know you can do it here. Yeah, but but I have some. I have some uh, friends that know it. So but you, go ask them? you can look it up here. No, no, I don't know where it stands. Okay, know it so stands okay, what's your argument? Let's say you, you find that verse. Yeah. Jesus died this, At this. 34 years old or, mm. or something. The argument is that. What is that? I, I, th I think that that's more reliable than just saying Jesus okay. died in between. Why do, why do let you. Me talk, okay. Let me finish. That's more reliable than saying Jesus just disappeared from the earth in between 500 and 600 years. No, I'm not. Who, where you make he a claim? No, that. no, I didn't say that. No, when, no. When, when did no, no. Jesus disappear? When no. did it? When did it go up? It doesn't mention exactly what it said. They did not kill him, nor they crucified him. This is the most important thing we need to know. We don't need to know here on all these. It's not necessary. We need to know the outcome of it. Yes, it absolutely is because it's e no. easier to understand. It's easier to believe. When you have a timeline, like in the Bible, you have the timeline of... Yeah, we have we have historical timeline. We have prophetic tradition who has recorded timeline. I can give you to that as well. So, so, so he did Jesus live? Yeah, so like five, six hundred years ago. That's what I'm saying. He lived five hundred years 500 ago. Five hundred years before Prophet Muhammad. I say to you many times. I'm not sure. Sorry? Exactly. No, I, I told him. Yeah. I told him this is, look, Quran... Are, are you a Muslim? Okay. Yeah. So, going back to the point. The outcome is very important. What happened? Yeah. And I said, if you don't want to take Islamic sources as a credible reference, I am giving you an external evidence. Yeah, yeah, I, you can, that. yeah. Go and read what basically this account. But, but I think it's so weird that you no. have a, re a reliable source and then just don't mention well, here. Are you saying Bible is a reliable source? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Do you think Mark, who is Mark? Do you know who is Mark? Mark? No, it's, it's, it's really, the names are really different. In exactly. So even English. if you look at New Testament scholarship, they... Can, can we go away from the camera now? Yeah, we can. We can I mean, no, one I'm second. Not saying it from, yeah. From here. Yeah. One second. Let me, let me finish it up. Uh, so I, I can talk to you about Mark, Matthew, and, and the credibility of the Bible. And uh, let, me, let me pose it for you. If you don't want to be filmed, but... I don't want to be filmed. Okay, no problem. One second.